Oh, I did it. Oh, but it's not helping. It's still terrible. Hey everybody, my name is Jason. Uh, this is Kids Toys Adult Beverages. Welcome aboard. This is Sons of Puppies. Uh, we're going to be reviewing children's toys while getting progressively more and more drunk throughout the day. Uh, well, Sansa won't have anything to drink. She's not old enough. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to review uh, Beef Eaters Gin, which is, of course, awful. Uh, not because it's Beef Eaters, uh, but because it's gin. And gin is a punishment even in 1984. So Beef Eaters got this cool logo. Bye, buddy. We got a little dude with a little spear necker thingy, little ruffly guy. That's good. So let's let's find out a little bit of a Beef Eaters. What's a grain spirit? And lick, oh God, licorice is in there? Oh, why? Why do people punish themselves like this? Gin, for when you really don't like yourself. Gin, for guys with pointy spears and roughly neck feathers who protect the queen. Gin, so bad your dog will abandon. So two and a half ounces of gin. That's uh, an ounce is a shot, so that's two and a half shots of gin. One ounce of dry vermouth. One to three olives or a lemon twist orange or bitters? That's not a drink you're mixing, that's a shot. Martini size shot glass. That's a lot of alcohol. You smell it. Ugh. It's like my grandfather used to say, breakfast is the most important drink of the day. So we did two and a half amounts of gin and then one half of that. All right, here we go. Class martini glass bottom optional. By the way, we're using Tribuno, 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 Tribuno Sweet Vermouth. I'm noticing notes of alcohol. Oh, God, God no. <laughs> I seriously hate alcohol. What a good career choice. So today, we're going to be reviewing three different types of sleds. Your standard disc, a single sled with um, an unknown logo here. Although it looks like it's built for two people. Look at the butt things in here. If you find yourself frustrated during the sledding, let it go. Intended for use by children over three years of age by persons under 85 pounds. What person under 85 pounds has that big butt? No. No. Then they've got a nice little handle in the front. You just Whoop, slide it in there. That's good because it'll help holding more. <laughs> Cheers. The third sled, the Walrus Snow Tube by Snowzo, intended for ages six and up, which I am. I'd say that, oh, I would say that uh, I have the most hope for the big snow disc, at least in terms of blazing a trail. This one looks like an awkward vase. Let's blow this sucker up. Oh, looks like the walrus also had too many drinks. Mmm. But it's not helping. Would you like some drink, Mr. Walrus? I think if a walrus could talk, he would say, Get the dog hair off of me! You're not even trying. Hold it for me. Yeah, let's get out of here. What we're gonna do now, is we're gonna set ourselves up from some sledding. Got um, a snowmobile track. That we're gonna get on, see if we can hijack it for our own various purposes. I don't have ice, but I do have disgusting snow. And some of you guys are gonna say, hey, Jason, that's gonna water it down. You've changed the whole proportions. What are you thinking? That's really dumb. Shut up. Perfect martini. So sometimes they make something called a dirty martini. Dirty martini means you put some of the olive juice in there. Why? Because gin wasn't bad enough. Time to sled. Do I look like a snow scene in a Bond movie? Just let that action go, baby. You can't hold us back. So that was just the first, the first run 
as a trailblazing run. It's not a, it's not a, a hit on that particular sled. You don't have to make fun of that sled. The sled was doing just fine before we came along and started criticizing it. You know, as a cisgender, straight white male, occasionally I run into opportunities where I think about something and I think, is this just latent homophobia inside of me? Or is this actually something reasonable to consider? Why do they put the blowhole here right where his penis is? Hey, that's actually working out pretty good. Cheers. didn't think that was so funny. It's unfair to test one of these sleds on a path that the other is blazed. So we'll give Fun Disc their own try. Not too shabby. So Fun Disc didn't do so well on the initial jump. Now that's okay. But it doesn't mean it gets out of other jumps. Ready? That is awful. Martini glass, you gotta go for a little bit. Whew. Did you know that snow is nature's natural martini glass holder? That's not too bad. Goodbye. You know, shake it, not stir it, because who gives a shit? So what we're gonna do is we're start getting some running start. With running starts, hey, how did all that gravel get in there? With running starts, should be able to go a lot faster. Maybe build up some momentum, maybe take a jump. That is still terrible. So for running starts, we have to make sure we're safe. Oh. Walking up hills, drunk sucks. So the thing about walking up hills, why you've been drinking, is that it's a lot more tiring. Mr. Walrus, carry me up. Everybody, I'm struggling to come up with a good snow and martini pun. Or maybe like a maybe like a celebrity name for it, like Snow Teeny. So if you wanna put in the comments below a better one than me, that would be great. You know who else loves martinis? Mr. Walrus loves martinis. Oh, it's so warm here in the sun. The nappers. We'll make little walrus angels. So today I think we've learned very little about gin and martinis, but we've learned a lot about my intolerance for alcohol. Headstrom, big booty butt sled. I would give this two out of five uh, butt bubbles. Didn't really work that well. I think that, um, you know, you could make the argument, I guess, that maybe I was over the weight limit for this by about a uh, hundred pounds, but this sled, Lukewarm, I don't necessarily suggest it. Uh, it just kind of sank right into the snow and didn't allow for um, for much, uh, much speed. Now maybe if it was icy out, you might be able to do something. The second sled that we have is the Fun Disc. Durability, there's some question marks. It did um, have a max weight of 250 pounds, so technically I was within the weight limit. But, uh, but I did jump on it, so I mean, it does explain maybe something. I'm gonna give the fun disc two and a half scraps of sled out of five. So last we have Mr. Walrus. Mr. Walrus had some drinks. I had some drinks. We had a really good time. I think that Mr. Walrus was by far the best sled. We could blaze our own trail oh, right over the top of the, uh, of the, the snow. That was really great. You know, in terms of uh, hurting my butt and doing jumps, I was concerned that I was gonna pop it, but we didn't pop it. He did really great. So congratulations, buddy. This guy, this guy. Mr. Wallace and I had a great time. Um, we had a little bit of confusion when it came to uh, inflating him. In this day and age, 20,000, no, can't say 20,000, in 2020, that is totally, you don't worry about where you're inflating them. You just go with it, dude. It's cool. Does it feel good? Feel, felt good to me. Did it feel good to you, Mr. Walrus? Great. I would recommend Mr. Walrus by Snow Zone. Um, I got it for really cheap. Um, I picked it up at, a, at a, a five and below, and he worked out great. So, highly recommend 
Um, if you see Mr. Walrus by Snow Zone, then you go nuts. Hey everybody, if you like kids, toys, adult beverages, please like and subscribe the page. Uh, it'll really help us out. And um, tell your friends uh, that, because Sansa Puppies is on here and she wants you to. Sansa Puppies, just tell them, like and subscribe. If you ever have a concern about alcoholism in your family, please make sure to get that person help. Uh, if you look at the info below, we're going to put a link uh, to make sure that um, we have some information that, that you can utilize to try and get people help if you or a loved one uh, are in need. Uh, we don't want to condone or endorse alcoholism here, but we do want to just have some fun.